the first one that I'm going to talk about now is the dashboard filter edit. So we know that lots of folks are building dashboards and you're building dashboards at high levels. And we put a lot of time crafting these dashboards. They have certain, um, um, a very specific narrative that is, that is around the dashboard. And the people who are making the dashboards want to make sure the users of those dashboards are following that narrative, right? They're, they're getting the point. And there are a lot of features on the dashboard that may detract or take away from that narrative. One of the major ones is the filter option. So if I click on the filter option, you can see that I can filter a dashboard by basically any dimension, org unit, periods, uh, area, donor, et cetera, um, that I have available to me as a user. Different users may have different dimensions, but if you're like an admin user, you probably would see everything many users would see dimensions that may not apply to that dashboard, meaning that they could apply one of these that doesn't necessarily, uh, is not necessarily attributed to the data. And they may just kill their dashboard. It may break the dashboard, essentially. Nothing would show up. That could be very confusing. So now as a dashboard owner, I'm actually able to go into the um, edit and I can see here, we have an option called um, filter settings. And if I go to filter settings, I can have the option to allow filtering by dimensions or only allow filtering for selected dimensions. If I click only allow filtering for selected dimensions, then I'm able to see all of the dimensions that I have, select, that I have available to me and turn on the certain ones that I only want the users of this dashboard to be able to filter by. So if I now, um, click confirm here and save my changes. Then when I go back to this dashboard, you see that now I only have the filters available to me that I have um, said should be applicable to this dashboard. 